Well, hi guys, it's Saturday. Cole and I are at the park. Cole's over there somewhere. I lost sight of him. But uh, police got somebody pulled over over there across the street. So I've got his leash around my neck. So he's uh, I don't know where he went. He was ducked over in the air somewhere. Oh, there he is. There he is. His coat blends in with uh, the scenery so good that he's pr practically invisible. Uh, like I said, it's Saturday. Cole and I are at the park. Uh, I worked earlier today. We, I got off about 1 o'clock. We got, had an early day. So, but it was worth it. You know, got a little overtime, which is always good. Like I say, my regular driver didn't come in. There's a guy with his dog. He got his dog off leash. Cole's running him off. But he's got him under control. He's got a donation. So anyway. I had a, a good day today. I got off. Came pretty much straight home. And um, I was really tired. Guys, it's been a long week. So, uh, I came home and uh, I let Cole outside for a little bit. And I sat in the yard, you know, for a little bit. I relaxed. I had great plans today. Since I got off early, I was going to go to the storage unit and do some stuff with my bug out trailer. But that didn't happen. Uh, I was gonna organize my shed, throw a bunch of stuff that I don't need away that I've accumulated, making room for more stuff that I probably won't need so I can put some more stuff in there. But I didn't do that, that didn't happen. So I decided to go in the house. I did that, went in the house, got me something to eat, relaxed, and uh, flew around and fell asleep. Woke up to my alarm going off about 6.30. And uh, I said to go off at 6.30 Sunday morning so that I can get up early and take hold for a walk and do my uh, yard. I wanted to do my yard. I want to cut my grass and, uh, you know, clean up around the yard a little bit. You know, get some stuff done since it's my only day off. So, uh, my alarm went off at 6.30 this afternoon. And I'm thinking it's 6.30 in the morning. I wake up, drag myself out of bed and whatever. I'm all stiff and sore. But I'm like, okay, here we go. My stiffness and soreness only last, you know, maybe the first 30 minutes after I get up. Then once I'm up and around, it goes away. So, I get up. My bedroom is completely dark, guys. I've got it where it's, you know, no light gets in from outside. So, it could be noon in the middle of the day. And it looks like it's midnight inside my room. But uh, my bathroom is right off the room. So, I went to the bathroom, opened the door. Bathroom has a skylight in it. So, sunshine shining through there. And I'm like, it's still morning. There's a, a girl over there walking her dog she's got him on a leash and uh she doesn't trust cold to act right i'm gonna stop the video just for a minute well not just to keep it going let you guys see how controlled cold is how good a dog he is or how bad get over here here right here right here here good boy good boy uh, uh, here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Cole. Good boy. How you doing? I like the dog. Uh, you stay here. Here, here. See? Come on, stay with me. Okay, go. He did good. 
he did break uh, rank a little bit, whatever, but I'll allow that. So, anyway. Up on opening the bathroom door, that uh, skylight with the light, natural light coming in from the sun, I realized that, hey, it's not 6.30 in the morning. It's 6.30 in the afternoon, which I was overjoyed, guys. I love it when I think I, you know, I don't have no time to get up or whatever. I, you know, I don't have time, but I really do. I love that. So anyway, I went to the bathroom, realizing what time it was. I'm like, I got a few more hours of daylight. So I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna take cold for a walk. It's too late to try to do anything with the shed because it'll be dark before I get anything done. And he hasn't been out of the house today. Well, he got out to walk around the yard for a little bit, but that's nothing. He needs to go to the park. So that's what I did. And that's how we ended up here at the park with him running around doing his thing. During the course of my working, guys, I see people with their dogs walking them around their neighborhoods, you know, on a leash, of course. And um, it's cool, you know, it's better than nothing. Where I grew up, I grew up in the in Detroit area. And um, most of the dogs I see in Detroit were... Uh, kept in a backyard chained up and or fenced in some of them wore chains and they had a fence around the yard because uh, most of those dogs are very dangerous people get the meanest baddest dogs in Detroit so that they can protect their house people can't break in through the back door That's most criminals and crooks they prefer breaking in through your back door of your house nowadays well, back then, that's how they would gain entry through the back door. But nowadays, they come through your front door in the middle of the day. But um, back then, people kept their, kept their backyard, you know, secure. And their back door secure by having a dog in the backyard where he stayed in the backyard. Wasn't allowed to come in the house. His whole life was that backyard tied to that chain, however long the chain might be. Um in a fenced in area of the yard. Sometimes they would be loose in the yard, but they would be fenced in so they couldn't get out. Uh, and they'd have a dog house out there, a little small little dog house, just big enough for a dog to crawl up into, you know, and have a little shelter from the heat or from the rain, or from the cold, you know. Sometimes they put uh, blankets in there so they could stay warm or some hay, whatever. But for the most part, that was dog's life. They never, ever took him out that yard, took him for a walk, took him to the park, or any place else. 